Hey everyone, so in this problem we have an initial value problem. So we have a differential equation and an initial condition. We have to find the solution to the differential equation. So this appears to be a separable differential equation. What that means is you can separate it. So you can write um, stuff with y, dy on one side equals stuff with x, dx on the other side. So in this case, I'm thinking maybe we can divide by y minus 1 and multiply by dx, and that will give us what we want. So if we divide by y minus 1, we get dy over y minus 1. So dy over y minus 1. Then multiply by dx, that gives us uh, dx over x plus 3. Okay, so we multiply by dx, we get 1 over x plus 3. Same thing as dx. Divide by y minus 1, and it gives us that. Now we can integrate both sides. These are both very, very simple integrals. If to do this, you would let u equal y minus 1, so du is just dy. Then you replace everything, so you would get du over u. To do this one, you would just let w equal x plus 3, and then so dw is dx. It's not even necessary to make a substitution. It's so easy. dw over w. Okay. When you integrate this, you get the natural log of the absolute value of u, but we know u is y minus 1, so you can just go from here to here. That's what I would do. And then here, natural log absolute value x plus 3. Then we have to add a constant. I'll just call it c. So this is an initial value problem, so we do have to find the value of c. Um, so we can find it now, or we can find it later. Um, I don't think it really matters. Uh, let's, let's, um, let's find it later. So uh, the next thing to do uh, will be to exponentiate both sides. So I'm going to exponentiate here and exponentiate here. And the reason is we want to solve for y. Right? To have the answer want, want y equals something. So this cancels. So we get the absolute value of y minus 1 equals and you can rewrite this as e to the ln absolute value x plus 3 times e to the c, right? And the reason it's times is because when you multiply these, you're adding the exponents, right? You're adding the exponents. These cancel, so we get absolute value 1 minus 1 equals, I'm going to write this first, okay? So this is e to the c times absolute value x plus 3, okay? And then we can drop the absolute values. So when we do that, we'll get a plus or minus, plus or minus e to the c x plus 3. At this point, we can rename our constant. Maybe let's call it k. So we have y minus 1 equals k x plus 3. So you can do that. You can rename constants all day long. Um, and then maybe now, maybe now let's do let's, let's find Let's find k. So to find k, we're going to use the initial condition. So we're going to impose the ic. So we're going to use the initial condition. The initial condition says that when x is negative 1, the y value is 0. So when x is negative 1, y is equal to 0. So we're just going to make that substitution into our differential equation. So this will be 0 minus 1 equals big K and then negative 1 plus 3. If we do that right. So y is 0, so we get 0 minus 1 equals big K. Yeah, x is negative 1 plus 3. So this is negative 1 equals K. And negative 1 plus 3 is 2, so we get 2. Dividing by 2, we get K equals negative 1. So the last thing you do is maybe plug the k back in and solve for y. So we have y minus 1 equals negative 1 half x plus 3. And then now we'll distribute the negative 1 half. So y minus 1. Negative 1 half times x is negative 1 half x. Negative 1 half times 3 is negative 3 halves. When we add 1 to both sides when we're solving for y, what we're doing is we're really adding 2 over 2, right? So negative 3 halves plus 2 halves is negative 1 half. So we end up with y equals negative 1 half x minus 1 half because it's negative 3 halves plus 2 halves. And that would be it. Hope that makes sense.